Good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? So my name is Brandy. I am with Brushed by Brandy, and I'm a Dixie Belle Paint brand ambassador. And it's Thursday, right? Right? I don't know. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have no idea what day of the week it is. Just kidding. It's only Tuesday to, or Monday today. <laughs> right? Um, it's only Monday today, but I was asked to pop in and do a little um, surprise live for you guys tonight. So we're going to be painting tonight and again on Thursday. So I wasn't sure what I should do with you guys tonight because I didn't exactly have something prepared. Um, but when all else fails, keep it simple, right? So I'm going to work on a project that I've been putting off for way too long. Um, and that's this gold mirror here. So this is a gorgeous gold Rococo style mirror that I've had for quite a while. And um, it's actually going to go to a friend of mine who owns several of my pieces. And so she's going to put it above one, but she wanted to give it a little more definition. So it's painted flat gold right now. This is the original finish. Um, and it's just a flat gold. So we're going to add some depth with color to this mirror to really make this relief on it stand out a little bit more. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a color wash um, to define the, the low points. And then I'm going to use dry brushing to define the high points. So right now, this is the base. This is the original finish, the gold. And the colors I'm going to use for my um, color wash is Midnight Sky. I love Midnight Sky. And then for my dry brushing, I'm going to use Driftwood. And that's because the piece that she has in her home that this is going with has, um, it's, it's, the, it's the piece that you guys have seen a million times. It's the Stormy Seas Vintage Duck Egg Driftwood Combo piece. It's been repeated a thousand times and it's always gorgeous. Um, but these are the colors that are on her piece. So they'll be great to use um, to add definition to this mirror. So I'm going to start with the um, Stormy Seas. And I'm just going to take one of my Dixie Bell brushes. I'll come over here and we'll work this um, front section. But when I um, paint a mirror, I'm going to go ahead, because this is such an um, ornate edge along here, I don't want to try to clean the paint off after I'm done. It would be a pain. So I'm just going to take some regular sheets of paper. And I'm going to slide them in between my frame and my glass. And that way when I'm painting onto this mirror, it's going to get onto this paper. And then I can just pull the sheets out and I'll have a nice clean edge. Um, I'm folding them a little bit because this is just regular paper. Um, and it's going to get the paper wet a little bit. So you just let it dry before you try to pull it out. I really like the mirrored finish. Are you just getting your uh, reflection in there the whole time? <laughs> Okay, so I would do this all the way around my mirror. Just, you know, regular sheets of paper. You can use three by five cards, you know, old newsprint you might have, anything like that works. But we'll focus on this section right here. And then, okay, so I'm gonna take a smaller Dixie Bell brush. This is the Dixie Bell flat small, and I'm gonna take it into Midnight Sky. And a color wash is literally, it's called a color wash because you're we're literally gonna wash this piece in in color so i'm going to dig this down i want this in all my low points so i'm going to dig this midnight sky down into my low point so all these little crevices here i want to make sure i get into those a little bit of water can help it thins the paint a little bit so that it falls down into those low points a little easier so this could be moldings on a piece of furniture you know, we're doing a mirror today, but this really could represent any kind of detail work on a piece that you want to add definition to. A color wash is a perfect way to do it. Um, I love the midnight sky against the gold. It almost looks like a navy from here. Jane says she likes how we banter with each other. Oh, I hate that part. Yeah. We're over that now. It's, it's kind of forced. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's how Sean and I are like all the time. That's our communication style is um, you dealing with a five-year-old me yeah it's probably why we get along so well we don't take anything too seriously or seriously at all for that matter i think it's funny though because sean goes to work every day like a real office job and apparently like people respect him there or something well, i wouldn't that's probably not the word to use no no so I'm using a lot of water on this. I want it to fall down in the low points and I want to keep it wet. And I'll just do a small space at a time. 
And once I feel like it's dug down in every crevice, I'm gonna take a rag and I'm just gonna wipe it back. I don't wanna to be too harsh on it because I want it to stay in those low points. But I can wipe more on places where I wanna take more of that paint off and less where I want it to stay more. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna use the paints and then I'll come back and I'm gonna add some gilding waxes again to bring back some of this metallic. So even though I'm covering up the gold, this is still gonna be a gold mirror. It's just gonna be a gold mirror with some more definition than what it has now. I think it'll be cool to see the before and after pictures. Right, are you excited? I for one am. You know, it might be easier if you turn it there. Yeah, okay. work from that side. I mean, I'm pretty like sure that? you don't want it. Oh, well, Does that I mean, help you? Even on the back side. I don't think you want me to show the whole workspace. Oh, my workspace is a mess right now. Let's see. Because I have, let's see, I have two pieces that sold. Um, so those are going out for delivery soon. So I can't put them in storage. I got to hang out with them. So my workspace is a little crowded right now. And then I've got pieces I just staged. If you guys go over to the Dixie Bell Paint Instagram page, I'm doing a takeover on there for the next three days. And I just posted today a brand new piece, like never before seen piece on the Dixie Bell Instagram page for my takeover. I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway on there. I'll announce that tomorrow. So go follow Dixie Bell Paint on Instagram, you guys, if you don't already, because there's some fun stuff going on on there right now. What's this Instagram thing? <laughs> what is, is that, this Instagram is that you speak you of? Asking, <laughs> that or, is me. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> or are you posing that question for what, a fake follower? What is this gibberish you speak <laughs> yeah. of? Sean does not do Instagram. <laughs> he does Facebook, but not very well, even. And somehow people at my work respect me? Yeah. <laughs> How do they respect you when you don't do social yeah. media? Yeah. What else is there? I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm done talking. He will post the occasional meme and um, that's about it, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a lot of them. <laughs> he, thinks, he thinks he's hilarious. From a distance. So same thing. I'm coming over to this side and I'm doing small sections because I don't want my paint to dry, keeping it wet, digging it down into these low points. And then you can see the difference with the paint wiped back versus here where I haven't wiped it back. And then when I come back with my rag and take that back, it leaves that midnight sky down in the low points. So I chose midnight sky versus like caviar on this one. Again, because the piece it's going above has blues in it. And I like that midnight sky um, can lean blue when you want it to. It can lean kind of black. So it was oh. that. Never mind. If I look over your shoulder, you get to see all the fun stuff. So oh. we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stay focused on this. Way. <laughs> Should I turn again? <laughs> what do I have over there? Oh, I actually cleaned it though. It looks better than it did. Here, let's look. <laughs> it looks better than it did. Um, oh, air conditioner. Ginger's under this dresser right here too. Yeah, there's the bed that she's not in. So Ginger has officially learned how to jump the half door into our laundry room. So now we have to find a new place for her to sleep. She's getting big guys. Um, so another couple things I have coming up, you guys, I think it'll be cool. Is it, if you follow the world of chalk paint, distress and decoupage page, it's a group. Um, it's a big one too. So it's a nice one to follow. Um, I'm going to be doing a series in there at the end of this month and I'm going to be covering a few things like um, brush care because I just got my brush washing station in my garage hooked up. I'm super excited. Um, so I'm going to be doing brush care. I'm going to be talking about the science behind going live. I'm going to be talking about organization of my workspace. I do have some, I swear. Um, There's this offensive language <laughs> on here about... <laughs> can you put that phone down and open this for me? Trisha said her or my memes are funny, but so are hers. <laughs> I think she's gonna throw her shoulder out, patting herself on the back. Yeah. Well, we didn't skip that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I offered to go with a new container of paint versus trying to open that old one. It was crusted bad, guys. That's probably one of the worst ones I've got out here. Okay, brand new container of Dixie Bell. So when I was going live tonight, the choices were this mirror. Working on this um, 
the orange piece that we did last Thursday, which I think I might say for this coming Thursday, or um, opening my box of Prima. I got a new box of Prima today, you guys, and it's good. I asked for some, some different types of stuff. So now that I've got my low points on here done with the dark color, I'm gonna come back on my high points and I'm gonna dry brush. So for this, I like a natural bristle brush. This is the Dixie Belle Premium Chip Brush. And I'm just gonna tip it in my paint. By tip it, I mean I'm just cut it, coating the very tips of my bristles. And then I'm gonna dab it off because I want very little paint on there. So this paper is nice for that too. And I'm gonna come with a very soft hand and I'm gonna wisp this across the tops of my piece. So I can see right now my midnight sky is still a little bit wet and so it's pulling that midnight sky up and I don't want to do that. So I probably need to wait a little bit longer for my midnight sky to dry before I do this. So you get the gist of that, but I'm going to come back and wipe this back because I don't want to pull that midnight sky up onto the high points and that's what happened. I'm going to wipe this back a little bit. I actually like it wiped back. It just left a little bit of that driftwood on. But I'm going to keep painting on the midnight sky until it dries more, and then I'll come back to that driftwood in just a little bit. That was a little premature. It's getting all excited. So I'm going to add some more paper under my mirror over here. Um... So what was I saying? Oh, so go join the, the uh, World of Chalk Paint Distress and Decoupage group and then um, they've had some interesting series on there covering a little bit different stuff than just paint techniques. Like I said, we're going to cover some brush care, um, going live, organization, um, yeah, and of course I can't find the space between my mirror to put this paper in. Well, I'll get this one as close as I can, and then... So what's the other trick? Should you get paint on the mirror? A uh, razor blade. I scrape it off with a razor blade. Figured I'd ask before it came up. Yeah, it's um, it's not hard. Actually, most of the time, I do paint directly onto my mirror. I don't even... But because this has such an ornate edge, I didn't want to try to razor blade right up to this um, super detailed edge. I'll swirl my brush a little bit. Making sure to keep my paint wet. I'm going to get all these edges down in here. So this is this is a paint wash. And then the other on the, across the top is a dry brush. So sometimes you hear those names used a lot. And this is exactly what those techniques are. So the, the wash is washing your piece in the color. I'm going to put a diluted coat of that color on. And then I'm going to wash it right back off again. Is a color wash. You could do this over any color. Um, and then the dry brush is literally using a dry brush to just skim over the top of tops of your piece and add some color that way. So those are really, really common techniques. You'll, you know, you use those a lot, but they're a great way to add a little bit of decorative finish and depth versus just a solid single color. So I'm going to come back and wipe this back. And I could just wipe it back, you know, with a single pass if I wanted to leave a lot of it. But I'm going to come in here and clean off some of these areas a little bit better than that. Because I still don't want to lose the gold that's underneath it. And I'm using different parts of my rag so that I'm not, you know, repeating with the dirty parts of it over the top of this. Where is Ginger? Ginge! Ginger! She's in here, I swear. Oh, one of the kids. One of those kids, I forget their names. One of those kids came out, went back in the house, so she may have went with. Oh, okay. They know their names, I that's all that counts. I didn't notice them, I've learned how to block them out. What material is this frame? It's a resin. So it looks really ornate, and um, I actually have one very similar to this in my house, and I love it. This is the original finish, This and they're, they're fairly common. Um, 
this was is from Facebook Marketplace. I picked this one up, and I was gonna use it use it for staging. And then my friend who has a whole bunch of my pieces said she liked my mirror, and I said, well, it just so happens I have two of them. And then she said, but it's a little bit plain. So I've added some texture and depth to the one I have in my house with gilding waxes. Um, so we're just doing the same kind of thing here, but I'm using paints this time. So if you go over to like a portion that I haven't done, you can really see how that dark color adds some definition. I can see all these moldings and stuff, but this plain gold is just really flat by itself. It's just boring. So I think it's still a little wet in the low spots here because I've used some water. So we'll let that dry a little bit more. So Chris said he wasn't expecting a Monday night visit, so a bonus Brandy and Sean. I know, bonus. Uh, yeah. Monday nights usually suck, you guys, so we wanted to make it not so bad. We want to celebrate that you guys made it through Monday. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Sean's celebrating that he made it through Monday. It's is not your, over. Is your boss still on vacation? Yes. Okay, so Sean's boss is on vacation, so he's the boss right now. I kind of been sleeping at my desk. Or this is what he tells me anyway when he gets I'm home. I'm holding Costanza. I got a bed under my desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just catching up on some beauty sleep. <laughs> I should be out for a couple of years. We um have been tiling our kitchen. You guys, I posted those pictures of our kitchen last week. But if you notice it, I didn't, um, there's no pictures of the floor in there because the flooring's not completed. So what? Those, those were discriminating photos I posted. <sighs> Somebody really needs to hop on that. Exactly. So, um, Sean laid flooring in our kitchen all weekend. So what's in your spray what bottle? What have you done, like two like rows? Like one and a half tile. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. Um, Thanks. I gotta go back to work. They my, respect me there. My spray bottle, do they really though? It's only because they're paid to. Um, my spray bottle is just water. I'm just trying to keep my paint thin so I and, can keep working it. And the color of paint? Is Midnight Sky. But this is a pretty combo. So you could do the body of your piece if you had a lot of, lot of details. You could do the body of your piece in the new Moonshine Metallics Gold Digger and then put a wash of this um, Midnight Sky over the top and this would be pretty on a you know, larger furniture piece too. When you're doing a color wash, do you worry about pulling the bottom color? Um, no. So, well, this is the original finish on here, but if my if my base color was Dixie Belle paint, um, I would just make sure that I had let it dry at least overnight. I have never pulled paint with Dixie Belle when I wait overnight and let it dry. Um, what I'm doing right now, this is a spot I've already wiped down, but I'm just coming back and I'm re-wetting the paint and I'm doing a little more detailed wipe down. So I'm just taking a little bit more of that midnight sky off. Man, Trisha had a good day too. Watch, watch six kids cook dinner, register two kids for school, and currently listening to her husband talk about work while she's watching. <laughs> yeah. So let's see which so one she's paying not attention really listening to. to yeah. your husband talk about work then? There's sound coming in your general direction. <laughs> um, that sounds like my day, Trisha. What? That's what I did today too. I registered a kid for school. Kid but you listen to what I say. How, what? <laughs> when did you get home? Who? <laughs> yeah. I didn't notice you there. Um, Just for that. I registered a kid for school and um, gave three kids haircuts. We do at-home haircuts because my kids are traumatized by bad haircuts from like a super cut. So I also am a hairstylist. Who knew? With a floby? <laughs> yeah, an unlicensed hairstylist, that is. I'm also an unlicensed furniture painter. Um, and then they all got showers. We've got school shoes well, taken good. care of. We've got um, backpacks. We've got new lunch bags taken care of. Can you change bathroom fixtures, the color of bathroom fixtures, um, using this method? Like if it's the, the brass or gold and you want to change the coloring, so can you do this they would be exposed to a lot of water i don't think i would i don't think i would feel comfortable with 
in an area that's exposed to a lot of water trying this. It is a water-based paint. You can add a top coat that's going to protect it, but... Leaving um, it to chance? I mean, I'll tell you a story. So, Sean and I remodeled a house a few years ago, and I did that. I painted all the bathroom fixtures. You know which house I'm talking yeah. about. Um, I painted all the bathroom fixtures, and within, gosh, a few months, I, I did it with spray paint, though. You know, and it's one of the ones that touts that it can be used for, um, you know, different areas and outside and all On that airplanes stuff. And yeah, yeah. Paint your car with it, whatever you want. And still within a few months, the water, the constant exposure to water and the, the wear and the fixtures were already like exposing the underpaint. So I would not want to advocate something, someone doing that. Um, if anything, I would say do a little test spot and try it. Let it get handled, let it get wet and see how it stands up. Thanks, Dan. Sean is an unlicensed videographer. Yeah, <laughs> definitely unlicensed. Yeah. Dan, do you work for the IRS? Just asking for, <laughs> for a, a friend. friend. <laughs> Just want to be clear. <laughs> well, actually, Sean is also an unpaid videographer, so I guess it doesn't matter uh, if you work true. for the IRS. Yeah. He is a volunteer. You can volunteer for anything with uh, a license, voluntold. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, voluntold. Stop. Sean's hoping to work his way up to being on the other side of the camera, so he's in his apprenticeship right now. Oh, sweet. Yeah, he doesn't know. Well, the pay sucks. One of these days, I'm going to skip out. Everybody's going to get a real treat. Yeah. This is how you start painting. <laughs> when you've period. you've never painted before. What do you mean you don't throw it at the wall? Sean could do some, some videos on um, spraying. He sprays all my clear coats for me. So, if you guys want to see gator hide being sprayed, Sean is the expert on that. Any questions on gator hide being sprayed? I'll put you on the spot. Oh, good. How do you like it now? What? Okay, so I am loving this. It looks so much more authentically old than that flat gold. I feel like this is dry enough. Now I can come back and do my dry brush. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm, I'm going in driftwood with my natural bristle brush. I just tipped it a little bit. And I'm going to ever so lightly come across the tops of some of these points. Oh, man. Trisha won't let it go. She keeps telling me I need to make a YouTube channel. Oh. And now she said she's going to manage it. Okay. <laughs> Sold. It's no joke. My YouTube channel takes a lot of time to manage. Like, it seems like it would be so easy. But uploading videos, I sit for several hours at a time and upload videos. It's no joke. So to help Donna out, she just chimed in. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know, Donna. I'm asleep at the wheel. Um, Donna, we are doing um, a color wash. And right now I'm dry brushing over the top. So I've got a very dry brush, very, very, very little paint on here that I've dabbed off on this paper. And I'm just hitting the high points with Dixie Belle Driftwood. On an oval mirror. Um, so this is an oval mirror. It's got paper on the top of it so that I'm not painting onto the glass. So I used Midnight Sky to get into my low points. Now I'm using Driftwood on my high points. The gold is the original finish. If that was not your original finish, you could put Dixieville Gold Digger, um, which is one of their metallics on there. And things have a paint just fine since Lee's husband did it last week. You know what? Apparently I she doesn't realize that like my you know five-year-old could draw stick figures better than I can. No, so what I, paint. What I, I watched that live, you guys, um, last week. I was at soccer practice with my kids and I watched that. I thought it was great because I noticed that um, her husband was very much like I picture what Sean would be. He was very like um, precise and his he had to have organized lines and stuff. So I think that's how Sean would be. Have a hard time with the like... The creative aspect? Creative, yeah. Letting, just letting go and, and trusting the process. <laughs> and that's how Leah's husband was. I thought it was super interesting to watch him paint. Diane wants to know what time my live is or what night. I don't know. We got to get him on the calendar. Yeah. We scheduled these a month in advance. You guys, our lives are scheduled a month right, in Janice. advance. Oh, that's another thing I'm going to do um, at the end of the month on World of Chalk Paint, Distress, and Dick Quack. I'm going to talk a little bit about 
how it works being a brand ambassador like and that's one thing you know how we schedule our lives and um, um, you know how we pick what topics we're gonna do and things like that so I think that'll be an interesting little series to hear some different stuff so I think this is really pretty. And then, so I got some of my um, driftwood on some of these high points, so I can just come back with my rag again and wipe it back where I don't want it. So I like it on the flowers and stuff, but I don't really want it on these little, um, you know, Harlequin panels here, whatever you want to call them. So I just will wipe it back off of those. What do you think? Should we add some gilding waxes on here? bring back the gold a little bit I agree with Gary I guess I do need to start painting we need more guys in the in the mix we do Gary where are all the guys at there's a few out there but we do guys need to get in touch with their creative side and I think there's more to painting like for example if Sean were to do a live and he just covered like like spring that's a very technical site and he does it really well. So I think it could, it absolutely has space in a live. I can totally put people to sleep. So I'm gonna use my redesign with Prima decor waxes and I'll show you the colors I have out. I have out Eternal, Diamond Dust, Shiny Star. I'm gonna get like a bronze out. And... Sorry guys, I know how much fun it is to watch me uh, video this on a flat surface. In, in the mirror? Ugh and meteor shower so i think that's a good combo right there and i'm going to probably lean towards the eternal and the meteor shower so i just take my finger and i dip my feet my clean hands in there oh, of course my manicure gator <laughs> hide top coat and i'm just going to do this it's kind of dry brushing but using my fingers i will just dry brush over the top of this and it's going to add back some of that shimmer i can kind of choose what areas i want to bring it back in now if you could just move your palm olive hand. <laughs> like Costanza? Out of the way. Costanza again? With You're not my, a hand model. With my hand modeling career. Yeah. So I really like the bronze on there. That's really pretty. It's really nice. Really nice. It's so pretty. And I will just kind of, I'm just, you know, wisping along like the high points on here. No rhyme or reason. No, it doesn't need to be perfect. I just want it to look like that gold is kind of peeking back through. Add a little bit of shimmer to some of these edges. So that's really pretty right there where you get you get this, the um, gray of the driftwood, you get the gold, it's got the midnight sky in there. So all those layers of color start coming together. Let's see, I can add a little bit of silver. The silver kind of looks like the driftwood, so if I wanted to make... Yeah. Now that's a comedy, Sean and Gary. Yeah, I don't think anything <laughs> we had done. Sean or Gary, do you want to paint with Sean on camera? I do require dinner first. Yeah, we talked about that, having having it like a um, a group just for, just for the guy painters, a support group for the husbands. What are these waxes again? These are the redesign with Prima decor waxes. I love them. Love them. I use them on most everything I do. Um, they are my favorites. They're nice and soft. They go on, have really nice potent colors. So I'm liking where this is right now. See, this is a process you can't, if you're, if you're too meticulous, you'll be concerned about this being too perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's a hard thing to learn, but it's okay to have variation and spots that aren't random. That's what adds character. So I'll come around here and start doing the top. So you can actually see the initial color that came with it. It wasn't sprayed. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it was, but I swear this is well, the Well, that we didn't spray it. It's the original finish. It's this same color all the way around. This was not painted. But it's just artificial looking.
But I like this color combination. This is really the the uh, navy blue with gold right now is super popular. And gold can be a little overbearing. Some people are still not sure about the gold trend yet. I get that a lot when I make gold hardware. I love gold hardware. Um, but if you have silver in your house or oil, oil rubbed bronze hardware, you may not want, you know, so much gold. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, it's a resin frame. Sometimes Brandy just doesn't stop talking, so I can't interrupt her. Sometimes. Sean does a good job, you guys, of like, he pays attention to when I'm talking versus when huh? I have nothing to say, nothing important. Well, that's usually when whatsoever. they're talking. And then he'll come in with the questions. So he is working over there, I swear. He kind of has learned what we do over here. So that's the right, midnight let's get sky. In. Dark and dirty. And this is where the magic happens. So I think this would be pretty versus like a flat gold finish. I, I kind of want to do a furniture piece like this. I don't really have a lot of ornate pieces right now in my inventory though. But on a super ornate piece to do the gold underneath and then add this as a wash. Not everything has to be furniture. I do furniture, but home decor pieces like like mirrors, like um, you know, picture frames and vases and all stuff like that around our houses. Um, you change out your decor and want to change those up too. This is a great way to make over your accessories too. Colors you're using? Um, the base is is a gold, which is the original finish on my mirror, and I'm putting over it midnight sky and driftwood. So Midnight Sky is my color wash, which we're doing into the, um, we're washing it using water. It's going to get down into the low points. And then I'm coming back with driftwood and I'm doing a dry brush technique on the high points. So this is my color wash. We're washing it over the top. We're putting it, digging it all down into the crevices. It's going to give definition to these crevices that right now are flat gold. Don't look at this part right here because I actually had played with some decor waxes putting a little bit of silver over it um, and it just didn't give it enough definition. The silver is pretty with the gold but it needed something more. How are you sealing this? Um, I'll put a clear coat over the top of it. I will probably put gator hide over the top of this. And you're using a dry rag to yes. wipe this, right? Yes. If I want it a little bit wet, so for example, if my paint starts setting up and I want to wipe it back a little bit, I can put water on my rag and I can come back and, you know, wipe places where my paint is a little bit dry and it just will reactivate it and let me wipe it back some more. So you can decide how much you want to wipe it back or how much paint you want to leave on your surface. I still want that gold exposed. I just really want the dark to get down into the the recesses. I'm trying not to get too much paint onto the face of the mirror. I really don't want to clean this mirror. So this customer, you guys, she's really cool. I would actually say um, they became friends, but we started out bonding. They built a home at the same time we were building a home, so we bonded over that. And I got to do like six or seven custom pieces for their new home which is a beautiful home, like puts my home to shame. It's incredible. So how are you gonna put the uh, clear coat on? I'll just brush it on, just with a brush. Um, you know, similar to what I'm doing here, but that way I can, you know, brush out the low points, make sure it doesn't puddle anywhere. Very, very, very thin coat. You know what, this is a mirror, you guys. If you didn't wanna seal this, you don't even have to. It's not gonna get finger wear. Um, you know, it'll get maybe dusted. I don't know, how often do people dust their mirrors? Oh, then Let's do we? be honest, don't yeah. lie to me. <laughs> don't make me feel bad. What, you have to dust? Um, so, honestly, this would be a perfect piece to leave it totally unsealed. 
And if the paint gets on the mirror, the reflective piece of the mirror, how do you clean it? I will just come back with a razor blade and I will scrape that part off. This is beautiful. I love how this turned out right here. Like that is so gorgeous. And that's where you really see that this needed that. But you can tell next to the part where I just put the silver gilding wax on that that just, it's just not enough. Oh, Gary's full of them. <laughs> you must have had a lot of caffeine you're on, today. On fire tonight? At least you're not using my skivvies. <laughs> but am I, though? Wow. This is one of Sean's old t shirts. I think that would be a concern. This is a wardrobe staple. I just, like I to, just got that today. I like to decorate them a little bit so they're a little more fancy. Nixie Bell tie dye. Um, who was I watching? Oh, Fiona. Uh, Fiona DeBelle, the paint pro. And she said that um, every time you're done painting, you should take your brushes on a canvas and just wipe them off on the canvas. And when you're done, you'll have a piece of art. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Huh. I don't think I'll wear that to work. It's abstract. Oh. oh, it is. It's going to be like my paycheck if I walk into work with that. I'm going to post this in one of the groups, and that's how I'll tell if you guys are lying to me all the time. I'm going to say, what do you guys think of this? And everyone will be like, oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. And then I'll know that you guys aren't really my friend. I know we all have to be nice to each other out in the groups, but I want to hear the real stuff. Um, I don't think you should have put... Yeah, I want the gritty stuff. I don't think you should have put brown there. What the? Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Someone told me one time, I think it's, I still think it's like the meanest comment, but also the funniest comment I've ever got. Someone told me one time one of my pieces looked like a slice of ham. But I love ham, so I took it as a compliment. Um, it was a pink, it was pink and white, and I was like, huh, it kind of does look like ham. I had to give it to her. So take that. And then I thought, oh, we should do like a whole like diner themed series. Like here's a hamburger piece, and here's a ham, and here's a, you know, pineapple. And so if anybody wants to do a food themed series with me, let me know. Doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Nobody wants the hamburger piece. <laughs> Oh, it's not turning out right. <laughs> the color of cheese, you know, we'll get some tomatoes in there. Now I just want to go barbecue. Uh, good luck finding something to barbecue. That was me telling Sean that I didn't take anything out for dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Very subtle. <laughs> yeah. I know it comes as a surprise. Oh, that brandy, she's a subtle one. So this is a huge mirror, you guys, but this is a fairly fast process. If you're doing this on a furniture piece, um, you know, I've gone all the way around this mirror. I don't know, how long have we been on now? Too long. Feels like five minutes, I know. I don't even know. Let me look at my clock. Oh, it's yeah. 4.30. <laughs> Always. <laughs> to put batteries in it. According to my clock, it's 4.30 on Tuesday, guys. 6.42. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, over here is our finished product, which I love. Love, love, love. It looks so much better. This is what we started with, is this gold over here. Just this plain, flat gold. And then this is in progress right here. So I'm going to keep working my way around. So on Thursday, you guys, I'm live again here on the Dixie Bell page. Ginger, come here, Ginge. You see her? Yeah. Ginge, come here, girl. Do it again. She's getting so big. Coat roll. She's not puppy Ginge anymore. Um, so on Thursday, I'll come back and we'll work on, I think we're going to work on the orange piece that I did on my live, and I'll show you the direction I'm going to head with it. Um, so each so week, I want you to pick her up. And, and hold her in front of the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, then you can make one of those time lapse photos. Yeah, yeah. If you knew how when to she's do like time lapse. Which is like 80 pounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're totally like, oh! No. There's going to be a puppy forever. She's a good girl. Except that she knows how to jump out of the room that we're supposed to keep her in. Um, so I'll let you guys go. Thank you for joining me on a surprise live on Monday with Brush by Brandy. I'll be back on Thursday. That's my normal um, night with you guys. 
and um, we'll do some more fun painting stuff. But um, head over to Dixie Bell for their for my takeover on their Instagram page. Um, we're gonna do a giveaway starting tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys later. See you on Thursday.